that's a bad bit. Just a little reminder for you all, we are going on tour. Wanted to go ahead and put this message out just for those of you that may have missed it. Starting February 13th of 2022, we're going to Richmond, Virginia spot, down to North Carolina, down to Atlanta, and finishing off in Florida. So if you guys wanna check out all the information, it's right there on the screen. Lock it in, get your Mustang ready, get your boys ready. I'll see you guys there. We're actually jumping in the the White Coyote. Um, if you guys watched the last video, you know I obviously just bought this car. I'm just kidding, I probably have a lot of you tripping out right now. What last video, you didn't buy no car, but no. This is uh, my little rental, because Blucifer is uh, currently at the shop. I just saved $5. Cole's cash, dude. Y'all need to redeem this, go ahead. Blucifer is currently at the shop, and um, that's where we're heading right now, because we are gonna be doing E85 kit, the one piece drive shaft, and our MGW short throw shifter. Why did I just stutter so bad? What's that? This is almost as bad as your Camry. Is it on inspection? Oh, it, it definitely is. <laughs> it's worse than mine. I just Man, got mine done. Chase has me set up for failure. <laughs> but that's the plan so far today. Um, big, big steps, boys. Big steps. Oh my God. That's probably the best ever. <laughs> Leaving a bottle of water in the car during the winter. It's like as close as gets frozen cold. as it gets. If you guys did happen to catch the last video, you saw that I mentioned the whole entire detail trip thing for uh, the little Mustang tour. And that's why I'm getting all this done on Blucifer. So we are ready to rock on the way down there. And I really want to get the car on E85 just to, you know, keep it really safe. Um, it's producing a lot of power and it just needs it. The one piece drive shaft is obviously, you know, a no brainer. Um, you have in one piece, how do you like yours? It makes a big difference. Does it actually like- You can feel it instantly, yeah. So it, does it feel like the power's there instantly? Like- uh, I mean, it just feels smoother and like, yeah, you can definitely feel like the power transfer to the rear is, is there. Like when you're first moving, it's mm -hmm. just- Instant, huh? Because if you know the stock drive shaft is like it's like two of them connected to one, it's weird and you it's lose, very you weak. Lose power at that center joint. Yeah, exactly. So, and then the MGW short throw shifter. But I must say, I've been driving this car. I was just telling Jordan, I kind of like the stock shifter. <laughs> something about an NA Coyote. Kind of miss this, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's just so mellow and fun to drive. And I think the stock shifter is actually what makes it really fun. Cause like, look at the throws on this. Like first, second, <laughs> third, fourth. So it's like, slap some gears like a trucker, baby. So this car is actually for sale. Um, I'm gonna talk more about that in a little bit, but it's a beautiful Coyote, RTR inspired, just about to hit 40,000 miles. So if any of my Coyote boys out there or wannabe Coyote boys are looking for the platform, this is the one to get. So stay tuned, we'll go over the car a little bit and I'll give you all that information. But right now we're pulling back up to Buffalo Tire. Who's fucking 350 is that? Jeez. What's up? How's it going? Look at this thing. What's on my head? Your head. Nothing's on my head. Yes, talking about? One. I got a hat backwards. About it. Y'all don't see this. <laughs> Dude, it rides good. I mean, it did ride good until I took off the shocks and control arms and stuff. What are you selling them for? You just said. You guys heard it. He said 200 pennies, man. Hey, I'll trade you for a bag of cat food I found in the back. Jeez. Good Lord. And you guys want to buy a truck? Damn. 
Yo, that sounds so sick. That was probably only like 4K too. Imagine taking that thing out to eight grand. That thing would scream. All right, switch into the red cam. Let's go see Blucifer. Whew, it's cold here today. <laughs> God, I haven't seen this thing in forever. You still have it, huh? Surprised you haven't sold it. It's my fucking daily. <laughs> <laughs> we got this turd. Gotta admit though, the lighting in here, lighting in here definitely does it, does it good. So we had a little bit of a change of plans um, with Blue for today. We're just gonna knock out the drive shaft and the MGW shifter. Unfortunately, I don't have my Lund bass tune. I was hoping I would have it for today so we can get the car out of the shop. As you can tell, they definitely do business here. Um, Buffalo Tire, check them out. We're gonna hold off on the E85 kit. I don't know if you guys will see it in this video. I'm gonna try to, but more than likely, we'll get started in this video. And uh, we'll definitely be driving the car, though, with the one piece in the shifter, so I'm excited for that. So tell me how I get pulled over, right? In the white car. It's not funny, dude, all right? Wanna know why it's not funny? Because you didn't have an inspector. Yes, dude, <laughs> you work at a fucking shop, man. You're a state inspector and you give me a car that's uninspected. What the? How does that make sense? I was gonna do it, alright? Oh, oh, he was gonna do it. Oh my god, that actually cleared. Talk about tighter than a tit's ass. There you go. Up she goes. You gotta admit though, that's when 97 rear ends are fucking nasty looking. Like look at that, look how good that looks. So first thing you're gonna do is pull your mid pipe off. Then you're going to, well, in this case, uh, we're definitely pulling the drive shaft because you're getting one piece. I'm gonna drop this trans mount down so we can get access to it. And what, that, does the trans go down a little yeah, bit? Yeah, the trans, the whole trans motor and everything's gonna lean back down and hopefully give us enough room to uh, get access up to it. Bolts take loose. Did you um, already pull the shifter off or is it in the car? Or the MGW, is it still in the car? It's in the car. It's on the floorboard. Is it really? We're really good at this. <laughs> <sighs> Jordan, Sorry. you sold. Uh, you don't want to put it in there. Well, duh, I had to Why transport it. it. I... You took the box out. Why didn't you put it in the box? Because the E85 is in the box. No, no, no. You yeah, can't play yeah, this yeah. one. Nah, that's totally you, dude. Grab Jordan's mess up right quick. Like, I wanted to show you, too. I don't think... It's too small, right? Yeah. She too small. Well, here's the MGW race spec, guys. Um, you could tell, like, the Barton that's in the car is pretty much a body mount shifter. So you can see this one is, you know, a lot bigger. It has all these extending arms and stuff. And this is actually going to mount onto the trans. And this just gives the cars, you know, or the shifter a much more planted feel. There's no flex or anything like that. And um, honestly, MGW is definitely superior in the aftermarket shifting world, as funny as that sounds. But um, yeah, this is this is what you want. MGW race spec all the way. Um, I've heard just great things about it and all my friends rock this. So it makes us to give it a try. We both have head straps on, dude. Oh, yeah, right. Nice. This is what you call a teamwork right here. I'm head strap <laughs> camera, he's head strap light. These POVs on red tube are amazing. Y'all better recognize for real. Here she comes. Oh, I gotta test something real quick. <laughs> Why was there so much condensation in there? That thing just like pissed. She wet wet. <laughs> Here at Buffalo Tire, they'll beat the shit out of anything. <laughs> you don't want to shred them off? Yeah, we want to shred them off. I bought the miniature version. Don't drop it on my head. I am. I'm <laughs> holding it like right here. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Just playing a game of whack fuck here. <laughs> Oh shit! That definitely would have killed him. Let me get mine down first. Pull it out. And just kind of. There she goes. Let him get carried by himself. Mother. He's got a Barton two post up there, and it's attaches to the factory shifter and the factory linkage, which is the main problem here. See how loose these are. Oh, wow. The MCW is a solid rod, and it's all hard mounted to the uh, 
transmission, so we're gonna pop these bolts out, drop this down, and take it off from the uh, trans. There you have it. Woo. Look at that stock linkage. Oh my mm. goodness. Has play here, here, here. That's how you miss a gear. <laughs> <laughs> Just to give you all a little comparison on the stock drive shaft straight from Ford and then your aluminum one piece. This is gonna be, you know, such an advantage over that because you can see this is bridged together in essentially two different pieces, which when you're putting power to the wheel, this is gonna, you know, it's gonna slow it down. It's gonna feel real, real um, sloppy. But when you go to a one piece, it's instantly there because it's just one full piece of rotation rather than this piece rotating and making that piece rotate and then to the wheel. So it's pretty cool. Um, I've never had a car with a one piece and Jordan and Chase both say it's a world of difference when it comes to feeling and not to mention if I ever go to the track, more than likely I don't have to really worry about the aluminum snapping on me. But this, like look at that linkage. Imagine 700 wheel on that linkage. Like people break them all the time. I wouldn't even record this. <laughs> <laughs> MGW is in. Everything's bolted up. We threw a little bit of grease on each end just so it kind of, you know, work it works its way in. It's a little old. Now we're just uh, rebolting up the the trans brace. And next is the one piece. Slap that doohickey right in there, and then um, exhaust back up. And that's pretty much it for underneath the car until we do E85. I thought we were running dumps. Yeah. I mean, well, you are putting the turbo in. I got turned out. <laughs> You're not going to know what to do with yourself once you get in and drive it. No? Is this true? We only got three bolts. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Can we actually lube up this real quick? <laughs> You're going to lube, lube the whole shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Is this, is this drive shaft going to whine? Do they whine? Because you don't have any suspension in the back to adjust your angle. Hold the f up. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> are you serious? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's a thing. Are you fucking joking? Take it out. <laughs> Bring it down. Exhaust is back on. One piece is in. Shifter's in. About to lower the car. And like I said, we're going to tackle the E85 kit probably sometime next week. Just kind of ran out of time. And, uh, you know, it's a process. Can't really rush this kind of stuff. So um, as far as the E85, it's coming. Looking forward to that. That's a bad bit. I hope the drive shaft doesn't blow up the oil. <laughs> hey, yo, Jordan. Hello? What we got going on with Silverback, man? It's been a minute. We got parts. Parts and parts and parts. Ooh la la. It's that Mach 1 chin spoiler. We're gonna throw Ooh. on and mock up on Silverback. Need to heat that bad boy up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> got a bunch of parts in here. Uh, first starting with the headlights, the other ones that we had were all crusty, dusty, and no good. Already have the, you know, the pins and plugs in there already. We also scooped some, uh, some new side marker pieces. Can you guess what this one is? Antenna. This one came with, uh, this bad boy here. So this is the actual, like, cowl on our car. This is for the under part of the windshield. We tried painting this on the old one, and for whatever reason, the paint was like bubbling up and it wouldn't lay right. So we decided to just get a new one because it wasn't very expensive. Um, so that's all brand new right there. Great when you get package deals. Look at that. Uh, this bad boy right here on the back. And one last addition we have for Silverback gonna be right here um we were gonna do springs on it raceland hit us up and sent us out a pair not a pair um a full set of their coil overs that's what i meant to say there you go. alongside some um, new caster camera plates so that's gonna go on as well and um let's go outside real quick take a look at silverback because very soon it's gonna be pretty much finished and um you know drive it around a little bit and one of you guys are gonna have the opportunity to buy this car. I know it's been a little bit since you've seen the car, and no, it is not gone, clearly. This weekend, we are actually getting the um, decal replaced. You guys saw that we had to sand off the old one. Just, it was impossible to come off, I swear to you. But the trim's looking great. We're replacing the headlights, as you saw, adding a Mach 1 lip. 
We're gonna get the thing tinted, added some new decal, the new um, OEM decal that is. It'll be lowered. I think we're gonna rock the, the wheels and tires. I kind of like them. It's an old school meaty look and the tires are practically brand new. So I don't really see the, the point in switching all that. Here's the headlight and these are actually the, the little um, surroundings that we painted. These were chrome, but we figured since we're going with the silver and black color scheme, look at that Jordan. That looks good. That's gonna look freaking awesome. Just to be honest with you guys, I did hit the lick on our black antenna. Uh, kind of threw that one on the Terminator. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean it matches. So, yeah, yeah, it matches, but that looks much better than the silver one. place I'd say it's coming together yeah it looks a lot better now she looking good check it out front ends just about done decals going on Friday those new headlights she she's looking sweet <laughs> 